Today on this episode of Sullivan's Garage, we're going to be painting the uh, engine bay and the firewall here in the 65 Ford Thunderbird. I'm also first though going to start off by painting here behind the fenders and stuff. I'm going to put like a satin black on it just to keep it from rusting and stuff. And uh, so let's get to it. Okay, well this is where we're going to be starting off today on this. As you can see here, I got it all seam sealed where it needed to be. And uh, it had a epoxy primer sprayed on it back when I sandblasted the car, so uh, but I scuffed it up real good and cleaned it. So uh, you know it's already sanded. I just need to mask these areas off, and you know we'll start uh, painting this thing. Same thing here on the uh, driver's side too, on the left side. So uh, let's go ahead and get this thing masked off and get some paint on it. Okay, as you can see there, got it all masked off. Didn't go too overboard with it, but probably went farther than I should have for this part of the car. But I just don't like getting overspray over everything. You got to clean it off, and then it's just harder to sand at the next stage of the process. So uh, here it is. Let's get wiping this thing down and go from there. Alright, got it all wiped down now, I'm all messed off like I was saying, so let's get this some paint mixed up, start shooting some on there and get this done. This should be a pretty simple thing, I'm just going to put two coats on it, it's a direct to metal product so it ain't like I got to put a primer down or nothing, so uh, let's get to it. Okay, there's the first coat on there, looking pretty good, it's starting to kind of dry like that satin kind of look. With that said, and there's the front.
Well, there it is. Got two good coats on there. Try to put them on nice and heavy. And that part is done. So now uh, we can move on, I guess, next to painting inside the engine bay and the firewall. Going to get that done. Put the body color on that. And uh, so let's get to that next. All right, well, it's a few days later after I got this black paint on here. As you can see, it looks pretty good. Got it all in mass, ready to go. So uh, that part's done. I guess the next thing to do would be uh, just paint this engine bay here. I want to wipe it all down, sand it. Same process as like I've done on the doors and stuff. So uh, just a lot of sanding. And sometimes it gets old, but you know what? Each step gets you a little bit closer. So. Uh, since the last time also, I went ahead and put the doors on also, got them out of the way here as you can see. So yeah, they're uh, ready to go. Here's the engine bay here. That same, we're gonna start sanding it on here. But first I gotta wipe this thing down. You can see some junk over there. I've just gotten on stuff since I've uh, been working on this thing. Firewall's pretty dirty and stuff. Got some overspray on it. You know, same over here. But uh, yeah. Let's get this thing sanded and get some paint on it for too long. Okay, got it all wiped down best I can get. Some spots are rough on this with some overspray where the primer didn't get sprayed the greatest when I originally primed this. Because we sandblasted this whole car on a rotisserie and uh, I threw a quick coat of primer in some areas on it. Just like I epoxy primed it and I shoot some urethane here but the firewall got left in epoxy. So anyhow, there are some rough spots as you can see kind of like down here. You can kind of hear it. It's rougher and uh, you can just see it's the primer's not sprayed the greatest in some areas. Same with on this other side here. It's just a little bit rougher, but like areas like out in here, it's uh, sprayed pretty slick, so it'll sand pretty good out there. And that's where you're going to see it the most. I mean, you know, 90% of all this gets covered up. So does a firewall. But anyhow, my point is, I'm going to wet sand this instead of dry sand in it because it's so rough. Wet sand be a little easier, and this thing's got a bunch of fingerprints on stuff, so then I can actually, you know, get it nice and clean and don't have to worry about fish out and everything. So, uh, let's get to it. All right, got some sandpaper here and my water hose, so let's start wet sanding this thing and get this thing sanded. After hours and hours of sanding, this stuff just takes forever. But as you can see, finally got it all sanded. It's kind of hard to see. I'm out here in the sun, the glare, I'm sure it's tough to see. But anyhow, it's sanded, ready to go. I wet sanded it. I went back to Scotch Rite Pass, some soap and water, really scrubbed the thing. So it's ready to go. My next step is I need to put some seam sealer in some spots and then we'll uh, get to masking it off. All right, well, I decided after all this here dried finally that I'm gonna go ahead and paint the frame rails and stuff mm -hmm. like that black instead of, you know, painting all the body color and stuff, but I'll show y'all here. Here it is here, done a quick mash job on it because I'm just gonna do the good old rattle can spray paint on this area, bought some decent stuff. You know, it ain't no sense wasting body color on it, and it'll look better probably being black. So I'm gonna paint all this area here, just black. I kinda did a little test area right there, just put like a matte black on it. Got the first coat on there, as you can see, it's flashing off. It's gonna get more of a matte kind of finish on it. 
won't stay as glossy as it is right now. But hey, let's let this flash off for a little bit. And I'll spray one more coat on and be done with this part. And I'll have to move on next to what I was saying. Okay, there it is. It's done. I went ahead and unmasked it. It's still drying a little bit. still going to flatten out a little bit more than what it is. But that part's done. You know, I went ahead and just masked it all off. It's ready to spray. I figured, you know, it's pretty boring to watch them masking stuff off. And it takes time to mask all this little stuff off around all these edges and stuff. So, uh, you know, let's get spraying this thing. I'm going to start off with spraying a uh, self-etching primer in some areas. Then some urethane sealer. Then the color, then the clear. So let's get to it. I'll go ahead and show you here what I kind of done before I start spraying. As you see, I went around all the edges there, painted black and stuff. The firewall there got it all masked off. Had a mask off and all these little holes and everything. Got stuff bolts into. Same weight thing on this side. The paint all across the top of here and stuff. So, uh, you know, let's get this thing tacked off and then we'll start shooting it. All right, got a tack right here. Let's get tacking this thing off. All right, got it all tacked off. Got some urethane sealer here mixed up. I went ahead and sprayed that self-etching primer on that big metal spot back here on the firewall. Do a couple other small spots, let it dry for a little bit. So let's spray some of this urethane sealer on there and get to it. off just a little bit longer because it's in the low 60s today so stuff started you know dry a little bit slower and I don't have my heat on the garage yet so here it is it's flashed off good enough got the sealer on there so now it's time to start putting the uh, color on it second on here will be done coloring it.
here it is. The last coat's flashed for about an hour now. I'm going to tack this off really quick. And we're going to put two coats of clear on this thing and call it done. And this engine bay part would be done. So here it is. Let's get some clear on it. First coat of clear is on there, it's flashed off. Let's get the second on there and be done. It's done. I went ahead and unmasked it all. It's drying, ready to go. So I'll let this dry real good. Move on to something else. But here it is. Here looks pretty good. This color looks different on the camera than it does in person. They don't do it justice on the camera. But uh, I'll have to pull this thing out in the sun tomorrow after it dries real good and see what it looks like. But here it is. All right, well finally, after all this time consuming stuff, this part here is painted and done. Now I have to move on to something else. I guess what's next is I do under the hood and trunk, get that done, because winter's coming up close on me, and it's hard to paint when it gets cold in my garage. I got heat, but it's hard to keep the heat in here. So what I'll probably do is get them painted next, and then I'll move on to something else. I kind of made my mind what I'll do is I'll probably wait to springtime and paint the body of this car. So, but in the meantime, this winter, I'm going to go ahead and start getting all the suspension put on this thing. Maybe going to put the motor in it, start running some wiring, stuff like that. I still got to put a vinyl top up here on this thing. So, uh, you know, stay tuned and thanks for watching.